Hey folks, Will Brink here, www.brinkzone.com. Uh, today I want to talk about uh, an important topic which is permanent weight loss, long-term weight loss. Uh, I'm wearing this ridiculous hat today to, uh, of course, remind you all what we all know, the holidays brings certain challenges to weight loss and weight gain, so this is my reminder to uh, eat well during the holidays. So let's talk permanent weight loss. Weight loss, of course, and permanent weight loss are two very different issues, and I know a lot of you have experienced that. That is, you get the weight off following some diet, and it comes back. And studies have shown repeatedly that uh, getting the weight off is really not the problem. It's keeping the weight off that is the problem. And so without a long-term strategy, uh, any diet you follow is pretty much meaningless if it just comes back. And in fact, it might actually be worse for you health-wise to do the yo-yo diet thing than it is to just carry extra weight or, of course, better yet, uh, stay in your uh, healthy weight range. So let's discuss long-term permanent weight loss. Uh, consistency is everything. And this, of course, sounds pretty common sense. And there's been a couple of interesting studies where they have taken a number of the most popular diets out there and instead of what you usually see, you know, six weeks, eight weeks, these ran a year. And they compared them at the end of the year, and they were pretty similar in weight loss, all of them. And there's a, a list of them that I will link uh, to this video as an article I wrote called The Big Picture of Permanent Weight Loss, which will cover all of this in detail, so don't worry about it. But a number of popular diets that are out there have been compared in several studies now and ran out an entire year. And basically by the end of the year, all of them were approximately equivalent in weight loss. Now again, give or take a few pounds of each, but when you're talking about a year, you know, in real world terms, it doesn't matter. So what does that tell you? It tells you that picking any diet that essentially uh, is effective, which means, of course, is going to be less calories than you ingest and such, and sticking to it, it's going to get weight off. There's not a magic diet that you need to find the, the zone diet versus Weight Watchers or whatever. Um, it doesn't mean that some diets aren't better structured, <clears throat> excuse me, that some diets, are, diets aren't better structured than others because they are. Some diets I consider inherently superior to others, but as far as mainstream basic diets out there, uh, what these studies have shown pretty conclusively is that consistency is simply is everything. And at the end of the day, one diet versus another is not as big a deal or as important as simply finding a diet uh, and sticking to it. Now, again, that seems pretty common sense, but that brings me to my next issue. And this will help you eliminate a lot of diets out there for yourself. And the issue is, if you pick a diet, any diet, whatever magical diet, you lose a bunch of weight, and at the end of that diet, you then have to go back to your way of eating, you've already failed because weight loss, permanent weight loss, is a paradigm shift in how you eat for the rest of your life. It doesn't mean being restricted forever, it doesn't mean eating horrible foods, it doesn't mean any of that, it simply means that you have to find a way of eating, a, a diet, a nutrition program that basically allows you to tweak it, follow it in its essence forever. If you go on some magic diet and basically at the end of that diet you then have to return to your prior way of eating, which obviously got you into that trouble in the first place, you're lost, you're done. So any diet you look at, what you can el eliminate from your choices is what I like to call, can I eat this way for the rest of my life test? I, I know it doesn't roll off the tongue, but you look at the diet and can I eat this way forever? If this diet has you eating uh, carrots and fish sticks and apples, uh, you know, five days a week and some other food three days a week that you will lose weight on because you read how great it was. Can you eat that way for the rest of your life? If the answer is no, this is not the diet for you because at the end of that diet, you've gotten off 10 pounds, 30 pounds, whatever it is you're trying to lose and you have to go back to your way of eating, you're, you're already lost. Therefore, you do not have a long-term permanent weight loss strategy. So look at diets and decide based on that, is this a way of eating, give or take tweaking, give or take when I get to my weight loss, can I move it around a little bit that I can do basically indefinitely? If the answer is no, that's not the diet for you. And again, that's covered more in the article, so don't worry about it. Uh, another issue 
is this may be the most important issue to your long-term weight loss and it is almost it completely ignored uh, in diets and that is psychology. Psychology of weight loss long-term, again long-term weight loss, there have been uh, numerous studies looking at the differences in the psychology of people that have lost weight and kept it off and those who take it off and put it back on. Uh, people who tend to keep it off, or should I say people that tend to, I'm going to go to the other group and say the people that take it off and put it back on, tend to look at foods uh, in very black and white terms. Good foods, bad food. Good diet, bad diet. Uh, they tend to see things in very black and white terms. They, they tend to have uh, poor coping strategies. That is, they tend to, of course, uh, inwardly you know, take it out on themselves if they're not doing well. They don't tend to have uh, coping strategies that work for them. And that again is covered fully in the article so you can go look at that but I will tell you that long term uh, permanent weight loss is as much a psychological issue as it is an eating issue it. because if you don't have long term coping strategies to deal with stress uh, to deal with you know things that come and go in your life holidays you know so on and so on again you don't have a long term strategy so you have to look at the psychological aspect and develop those coping strategies to keep the weight off. And again, read the article. Uh, this should go without saying, but I'm going to repeat it anyway. If exercise, regular exercise, is not part of that diet strategy, again, you're already behind the eight ball and you will lose. Dieting, nutrition, whatever, without regular exercise is a non-starter. And studies are, are pretty clear on that. And that also has to do with other issues such as losing fat versus muscle mass and such, but that's other videos. Uh, and those really are the, the main issues of long-term weight loss. And I go into more detail in the article, so I would recommend you read it. But remember, weight loss, fat loss is not the big issue, as many of you found out the hard way. It's permanent weight loss. And that is a different viewpoint that you have to look at the long-term versus the short-term. I'm going to follow this diet. I read in the magazine. I read in the book. I'm going to take off 30 pounds. And then, then, then what? That's the real issue of keeping it off. So I hope this uh, video has helped. And if you liked it, please hit the, you know, the likes and the Twitter and all that and help me out. And I uh, hope to see you all on the Brink Zone. Now for more information on this topic, head on over to www.brinkzone.com where you'll find my blog, more videos for reports on fat loss, muscle building supplementation, fitness health and longevity, as well as a ton of articles in my free weekly fitness newsletter. And I'll see you all on the Brink Zone.